In this video, I'm going to cover the 26 different unique legendary weapons that you can find in Starfield. These are all weapons that can be purchased from a vendor in the game, and there are some that are locked behind certain quests. There is even a secret New Game Plus vendor I'm also going to explain later in the video. And one note about these weapons, these are only really unique in that their names are different than the normal counterparts. They each only have one legendary effect and almost all of the models for these unique weapons are the same as their normal weapon parts. However, if you were like me and you like to display a wall of weapons in your home or outpost, then this video is for you. The first and easiest unique weapon that you're going to find is a New Atlantis at Jemison Mercantile at the Spaceport. This weapon already has the high-powered mod as well as armor-piercing rounds, so it's a really good weapon to pick up early on since ammo is very plentiful. I usually use this for New Game Plus runs as well as it's a pretty good weapon against easy enemies. The next two unique weapons that you're going to find at New Atlantis are going to be at the UC Distribution Center, which is located to the left of the mast building. The Rapid Shot is a pretty interesting shotgun because it's a fully automatic one and it also has the Rapid Legendary effect, so that means it shoots pretty quickly. But the store also carries the N67 Smart Gun, which is arguably one of the best uniques that you can get in the game. Because this weapon has the Shattering Legendary effect, it means it could take down any enemy pretty quickly. The next unique weapon is going to be located on Gagarin's Landing, and it's going to be at Clint's Collectibles, which is just right next to the Spaceport. It's a unique version of the Urban Eagle Pistol, which is just a titanium build, which means it's very lightweight, so it's only really going to be useful if you want to carry very minimal items in your pack. The next two unique weapons are going to be located in Hopetown. The shop is called Best Defense, and the two weapons are Short Circuit and Speechless Fire. And to be honest, there's nothing really special about these two weapons. One's good against defeating robots, another one gives fire rounds. However, they are still unique at the end of the day. Now, Aquila City is going to have four different legendary weapons. The first two are going to be located at Rowland Arms, and it's going to be the Elegance and the Zapper. The Zapper is a pretty uninteresting gun. However, the Elegance is probably one of the best legendary unique pistols that you can get in the game. It has the shattering effect like the smart gun weapon. And if you pair this with the binary trigger mod, then this thing absolutely shreds any enemy. In fact, this was kind of my go-to weapon during my first playthrough whenever there was a situation where everything needed to die. The next two are going to be located at Laredo Arms, and it's going to be the Prime Handgun and the Head Ranger Rifle. Nothing really special about these two. I do like the Head Ranger because it is a faster firing lawgiver, and I really like that weapon in this game, so I, I like that I have one that shoots faster. The next group of legendary weapons are going to be located on Neon. The first ones you can buy from Frank Rennick, and this one has probably the best shotgun in the game. It's going to be Boom Boom, and it has the explosive legendary effect. This gun also has a very fast fire rate, so it's tremendously fun to just mow through a bunch of enemies with it, especially if you pair it with the phase time power. It is so fun. The other unique weapon that this guy sells is going to be the buzz cut and it's probably one of the only unique weapons in the game that has a different model than its predecessor. It's an all black Grendel rifle which is a pretty cool futuristic P90 looking gun, however not that strong. The next two legendary weapons you're going to find at Core Kinetics which is located just to the right of the Astro Lounge. These two are going to be pretty strong weapons in itself just because they are railgun type weapons. It's going to be the Mind Tear and the Poison Storm. While these two don't have the shattering effects just because they're really strong weapons, these are going to be pretty good uniques in and of itself. So these are really good choices to add to your arsenal. The last unique weapon that you find at Neon is going to be located at the Ryujin Tower. And unfortunately, there's nothing really special here. It's just going to be a legendary form of the Nova Light, which has probably the worst legendary effect in the game, which is Spacer. And I think it's a cool effect. It just you don't really put yourself in space combat enough to make it really worth it. 
Now, there are five different legendary weapons that you can get from the Crimson Fleet, so you do need to progress far enough into the UC Vanguard questline before you can unlock the ability to purchase these weapons. The first three can be purchased from the weapons dealer, and that's going to be the Feather, the Fury, and the Pirate Legend Rifles. These are three pretty good rifles. The best one, I think, is the Feather. I really like this type of gun, and it's a very lightweight one to carry around if you're someone like me that really cares about inventory management when you go to explore planets. The Fury Legendary Rifle is also pretty good against harder enemies, but I don't know. To me, it's just like a stylistic choice. I don't tend to use the older style weapons in games. I want to use the sci-fi looking ones, so... If you like the old AK-47 style rifle, this might be one of the better ones for you. The other two that you could purchase from the key is going to be at Zuri's, and the two rifles are going to be Power Bee and Hunter Wolf. The rifle is not really that special, but the Power Bee is really cool because it has probably my favorite legendary effect, and it's the one-inch punch. So basically, this acts like a semi-automatic shotgun rifle. It's pretty powerful. Now, the next two legendary weapons are going to be locked behind a vendor that is only unlocked when you progress far enough into a particular quest line, so there are going to be some spoilers here for the UC Vanguard quest, so just be warned. But once you progress far enough into this quest, you're going to unlock the Xenomorph headquarters, and there is a vendor located inside there before you head to Londinian, where you can buy these weapons from. The two weapons are Reckless Bombardment and Amped Up Orion. Nothing really special here, but these are two unique weapons, and this is a pretty hidden vendor that I didn't really think about until I went to research this video, so I'm assuming there are a bunch of people that don't even know that this character exists to buy these weapons off of. And the last vendor that I wanted to mention is probably one of the most unique ones in the game, and it's going to be the New Game Plus vendor. So again, there's going to be spoilers for New Game Plus. If you haven't reached that point into the game yet, I would advise caution. But essentially, once you enter New Game Plus and you're in another universe, there could be a random event that pops up when you're traveling to another system where you're greeted by a mysterious ship. But you did it! I knew you'd eventually make the leap. How are you enjoying this go of it? That's wonderful to hear, and rare. Usually a Starborn's life is complicated and unpleasant. I fought to get to the Unity again once or twice, but after all the pain, suffering, and just mind-boggling effort, I was left wondering, why bother? So now I indulge my hiddenness side, and I must say it's a lot more fun than the constant struggle. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Charmed to properly meet you. I wanted to let you know, however, that my interests are broader than debauchery. I also do business. I cater to Starborn, a very exclusive and specialized crowd. You can call me the Trader. I sell a smattering of hard-to-come-by items, ridiculously marked up, because the Starborn should be able to afford it. If you are short of funds, I'll stay in the area. Plenty of diversions on my yacht. As you can see, you find out that this is another Starborn that instead of trying to go through the rat race of finding all the artifacts to jump into the next universe, they just want to live their life how they want to, and they have taken up the role in this universe as a vendor of really high value and powerful weapons. I will warn you though, it's entirely random when you come across this vendor and I have jumped into New Game Plus, I think six or seven times and I've fast traveled to a bunch of different places obviously through those playthroughs and I've only come across this vendor three times and the most recent one, I was trying to record it for the video so I was actively fast traveling to different locations for a long time before this popped up. So this is an incredibly rare vendor, you may not find it but when you do, you want to make sure that you're carrying a lot of credits because she has some pretty unique weapons. This vendor carries the Terror Inflictor, the Avatar, the Reflection, and the Last Breath Rifles. 
The Last Breath and the Terror Inflictor, these are just your run-of-the-mill legendary unique weapons that have a random legendary effect. Pretty cool, but not really that exciting. The Avatar is a direct reference to Avatar The Last Airbender. It has the elemental legendary effect, which I think is cool in and of itself. I use this rifle specifically because of that reference. I love it. Um, and then the Reflection Rifle, that is probably one of the best rifles in the game. It has the instigating legendary effect. And it has, I think, base power of 600 once you get to like the upper levels of the game. So this thing absolutely demolishes anything you come across. And it's especially good if you want to take a stealth approach and treat it as a sniper rifle because the sneak damage with this gun is absolutely insane. So again, there's some really good weapons here. However, they're very expensive and they're locked behind this random encounter with this vendor. So you want to make sure that you're really packing before you encounter this one. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to make a guide for all the unique weapons. I find myself as I go later on into the game of after I put so many hours into it that I want to spend a little bit more time in base building and collecting all of the unique weapons and snow globes and stuff. So I had a fun time filming this video and I hope it really helps you out in building your base. Like I say in most of my guide videos, it's entirely possible I may have missed a unique weapon that you can buy from a vendor. So if there are any missing, please be sure to let me know in the comments section below. I know there is a bunch more that you can get from quests and stuff, but I wanted to cover the ones that you actually can buy. So it makes it easier for new players or people that are, you know, doing New Game Plus. Thank you all for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.